All right, so we have an extra special video here. We're doing a before and after. So I'm actually going to take you through this villa as it's just a pile of dirt and concrete first, and then you see the finished product today. So stick around. It came out way better than we even thought it would. Let's check it out. So we're here in Pereranon, and this is one of the most stylish developments that we've seen yet. We've actually sold two villas already, but we have two left. And these are one bedroom studio loft style, pretty chic, little hipster, the perfect digital nomad pad. They're going for 180,000 USD for 75 meters squared, 24 year leasehold. So I'm really eager to show you what this villa looks like, but let's take a flash back through time so you can see what it looks like because I think the before and after process is so amazing when you can see what the finished product looks like. So when you see what the bare bone guts of this villa was beforehand to what it is now, it's really incredible. You know, in any villa experience, it's always supposed to be an experience. And uh, even though these are smaller units, the thing is we still get the same dramatic effect. I think the designer has done such a good job. I'm always taking mental notes of what I like most about each villa. So we have the gate that all is congruent with, you know, the, the wooden slats and the doorway here. But this door almost seems like hidden. You know, it's, uh, it feels like a secret. And immediately I'm like so impressed by the turnout of what this was because we just saw it with dirt and concrete and it is so refined and stylish. And at the entrance here, we've got the bathroom. A uh, little note, we've got this smart door. Look. Isn't that cool? Guys, I'm not a professional designer, but I'm learning. And I can tell you that the selection of furniture, uh, the use of space, it is so well done. It's cozy, it's cool. It's a place that you really wanna stay in. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. We've got living area here, kitchen, bedroom, and then the bathroom. Of course, we have nice vaulted ceilings here, which really adds a lot of volume to the space. Uh, but I also appreciate the good polished concrete. We don't see that a lot. We see a lot of tile and I don't know, there's a nice design element to polished concrete, keeps it easy to maintain. And then there's good space in the kitchen, plenty of room to move around, high-end appliances, also good storage. Again, I'm a, a nerd for storage, but it's pretty useful out here. Sometimes we don't see it. And let's have a look at the bathroom. It's a nice minimalist design. And uh, I, I also like the wood floor for the shower. I don't know, we usually see tile, but something about the wood uh, makes it a little more natural feeling. So something that I noticed right away is that we don't have sliding doors out to the pool, which we usually see. Uh, what's nice is we still have our indoor, outdoor living. We can close off the doors and keep it temperature controlled. There's a little overhang here and when they're both opened up, we get this little butterfly design element to it. It's kind of nice. There's also a surprising amount of space back here with the pool and patio. A couple day beds, ample room if you wanted to put a barbecue out here or something. Uh, and a good size pool and deep. Uh, this is like the perfect size for a one bedroom studio. And what I like coming up on the landing here is we still have a window, so we've got natural light coming in, which always keeps us connected to the outdoors. I love, like, look how thick this door is. It's like, uh, you know, there's these elements of creativity and quality that we just haven't seen in so many villas. So I really like the thick doors. We see that all throughout this villa as well. So a couple points about the bedroom, uh, of course, the design is impeccable. 
uh, we've got you know a little retro feel with the furniture but it mixes you still feel like you're in bali because we've got the wood floors here and uh and then also this window and this window is interesting because i just haven't been in many bedrooms that have a window that looks through another window but we uh have a nice view of the jungle uh, past there and of course it's nice to have the vaulted ceiling so the space is is ample uh it's also really quiet in here this is really quiet right that's yeah, nice. So I hope you enjoyed. Again, we've already sold two units and these remaining two units are going to go quickly. I'm eager to see if the builder does more of this design. I think this design is so good, especially as an income property potential. If you're interested, we're gonna have a link below where you can contact us for some more information and make sure and like and subscribe. I'll see you again in the future.